LED light bulbs are a completely different technology than the incandescent light bulbs they replaced. LED light bulbs are way more energy efficient, they're way more cost effective because they last so long, but they're also really confusing to buy. While the boxes for each light bulb might reference 60 watt equivalent or 40 watt equivalent, it's pretty easy to find a light bulb that will roughly match the intensity of the light bulb you wish to replace. Color temperature, the color of the bulb, is something else completely different. If you look on the box, you might see soft white, you might see warm white, you might see bright white, you might see cool white, you might see daylight. There is no standardization for the names. Today in this video, we're gonna go over the different color temperatures of all of the white light bulbs you can buy. And hopefully by the end, you'll know what to do when you walk into your big box store and you next have to buy some light bulbs. So if that sounds good, stay with me till the end. For now, let's get going. So first of all, what we are not talking about in this video is light that has been colored to a dramatic extent. We're not talking about blue light like this. We're not talking about red light like this or green light like this. What we're talking about when you walk into a big box store and you're picking a light bulb, all of the light bulbs that you can find when you walk into a big box store, generally speaking, emit white light. The problem is that there's a wide range of white light from which you can choose. We measure that difference between different kinds of white light using a scale called the Kelvin scale. And we call that difference between different kinds of white light a difference in color temperature. Choosing a bulb that provides the ideal color temperature for a room or the activities that are going to go on in that room is really, really important. It can have a significant impact on the feel and the functionality of the space, and it can affect everything from how you feel in the space to what you do in it. If you get the color temperature too warm, you might not be able to see what you're doing. You might not feel as active as you want to feel. You might not be able to concentrate in the same way. If the color temperature is too cool, you might not be able to wind down in the room at night. You might not be able to relax. Getting the color temperature of the bulb you buy correct for your needs is pretty important. So generally speaking, you don't need to memorize the whole Kelvin scale. You don't even need to understand how or why it exists. A general rule of thumb that's a good one to adhere to is to remember that there are sort of three broad tiers to the Kelvin scale that matter when you're walking into a big box store or a hardware store and trying to buy a light bulb. These days, LED lighting is based on semiconductor technology and it can come in a whole host of different colors. You will generally, when you walk into a big box store, find three. You will find warm white bulbs, you will find daylight balanced bulbs, and you will find bulbs somewhere in the middle of those two color temperatures. First, let's talk about warm white. We should talk about that because the warm white LED light bulbs that you can buy in a big box store generally replicate the old style of light bulbs and their color temperature. The warm white part of the scale for me includes firelight, it includes candlelight, it includes old style light bulbs, it includes the old tungsten bulbs that we used to use on film or television sets. For me, a warm white part of the scale includes anything from 1900 degrees Kelvin, which is what firelight is to 3200 degrees Kelvin, which is what a, a motion picture light would have been in the days before LED lighting. If you're wondering about your old light bulbs, the tungsten ones, the ones that you're probably replacing with LED bulbs now, if you haven't already, those generally came in at around 2900 degrees Kelvin. The warm white part of the spectrum and picking bulbs from that part of the spectrum is appropriate for rooms that you want to be relaxing or welcoming. You want these in your living room. You want these in your library. If you have a bar, they're great for that. They're appropriate for your bedroom. Anywhere where you're going to wind down at night, you want to choose a warm white bulb and have it in that space. At the other end of the spectrum is daylight. Daylight has a very blue hue to it. You would consider daylight to be anything higher than 5,000 degrees Kelvin, generally around 6,500 degrees Kelvin, sort of a bright sunny day. The light coming through your windows, probably today, might be in the 6,500 degree Kelvin range, at least in the middle of the day. So if you walk into a big box store and you pick up a bulb and it says daylight on it, that light is gonna match the light coming through your windows perfectly, at least during the day. So if you've got a room with lots of windows and you wanna match the light, that's the bulb to go for. It's a very vivid and natural light and it's appropriate for any kind of activity that requires concentration, that requires focus, and that's active. It's not a winding down kind of light. It's a get up and get it going kind of light. And then the third tier, right down the middle. Sometimes this is called soft white. Sometimes this is called cool white. But as you might imagine, because it's between the orangey color of warm white and the bluey color of daylight, it's sort of green. 
<laughs> if you've ever been in a parking garage that's illuminated by fluorescent lighting and you've got that sort of green pallid look all over the place, that's cool white. If the degrees Kelvin is in the 4000 range, that's what we're talking. To me, this is the ugliest light on the planet. It is green, it is pallid, it is sickly. People do not look nice under it. To me, the cool white part of the spectrum, that's the bulb to avoid. And after that, it's up to you. You can mix lights. You can have daylight coming in through a window, but have uh, warm white or tungsten balanced lights inside the room. That has kind of an interesting effect. You can try to match them, but I think it's really important for the average person to consider what's gonna happen in the room and how they wanna feel in the room before they pick the light that they're gonna put in that room. So I hope that helped you out. If it did, please feel free to like or subscribe. Liking and subscribing can really help a channel. And if you could do that for this channel, I'd really appreciate it. And as always, until next week, take care, stay safe, have fun with your DIY projects. I'll see you next Saturday.